But yes, we were all doing it, da 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 you know, the sort of thing you can imagine. And in fact, we were all doing it. And, but I don't deny that they want to reflect their own uh, greatness off of me, because that's the job of the person who gets up front, and, and you've got to accept that. Um, now, now, I don't know if we're going to take questions here. Okay. Let's see if we got... Okay, okay. let's see. Well, let's, 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 let's. Uh, a couple of interesting stories uh, uh, at the homebrew club. Uh, one time there was a guy who was uh, probably going to sell something in the parking lot, and he, it was, uh, he was trying to sell some joysticks. And he mentioned that uh, the order was delayed because it was held up in customs because they thought it was some type of sexual apparatus. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so they, they didn't, uh, uh, so it was a delayed shipment on that one. And there was another uh, fellow that worked at the uh, computer shop with me that got a job at, at MSI. And then he got into EST. And years later I found out that, that was a company requirement, I think. If you worked at MSI, you were into EST. <laughs> Yeah, we had a lot of humor in the club, and it was very enjoyable. That was uh, something that was all a big part of me. Anytime you did technical work, you had to have a lot of jokes to tell, or it just wasn't worth doing. And I remember, in the club, you could meet people, the old, old people, then the very youngest, and we had some high school kids, and it was fun to meet them, and just start up conversations, and find out you had things to talk with, about, to everyone. Well, one of the high school kids got assigned the job of running our Tuesday night uh, chat sessions on a local call computer system, a time-sharing system. That was uh, Randy Wigginton. Well, I went in and looked at the program in BASIC, and it used this file called Chatex. So I just dumped nine pages of Polish jokes into the Chatex file as soon as I could grab it, and everyone online would get all these jokes and just blame Randy for it. Devil you. Let's change where I'm coming from here. When I was when I first I first learned about computers. Probably by walking through a homeroom class in, in high school and seeing somebody drawing these weird pictures on a piece of paper, and I asked him what he was doing, and he said, "Oh, designing a computer." So I got this. I got into this not from point of view of someone who wants to change the world or even write programs. I wanted to design the microprocessors. So I owe this to him, who taught me how to design microprocessors. And. Um, Afterwards, he owed me because I got him two jobs based on that. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so how about it? I get there. But I guess one thing I wanted to say was uh, something that I think was influential in all of us getting there. I've only recently sort of figured this one out. And a lot of it is, is based on uh, John Markoff's book, uh, What the Dormouse Said. Um, I have come to the conclusion that Stuart Brand and the Whole Earth Catalog were actually marketing personal computers for several years before they existed. They didn't call it personal computers. It was a very general kind of a set of ideas. And in fact, that's what you do when you're marketing. You sell ideas. Um, and I, without getting too argumentative about it, I just want to suggest people think about that. People who were there who had, at the time, how many of them had seen or in some way come across the whole earth catalog yeah see um so i just put that out to think about it that in fact uh the marketing effort started sometime you know five years before what was their 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 slogan access to, access to tools and then stuart brand had this longer slogan that some i don't know when he he gave forth with it but it's like we are as gods, so we might as well get good at it. <laughs>